Hi, I'm Claudia, and this is a summary on our publication on the implementation of volume staging for AVM treatments on a LUNAC using VMAC. Volume staging is a stereotactic radiosurgery strategy used for inoperable AVMs in the brain. The main objective of volume staging is to treat smaller volumes that allow for delivering higher doses to the AVM while meeting the normal brain constraints, mainly the volume that receives 12 grades or more. So instead of treating the whole volume, Stages are treated in separate SRS sessions, resulting in lower normal brain B12 rates. Since we found little evidence on the use of Linux systems for volume staging, we studied the feasibility of implementing it on our variant TrueBeam SRS system. So we prepared volume stage plans that we call PTV VMAP plans, as they use the 1 mm margin established for cranial SRS. We also calculated AVM VMAP plans with 0 mm margin, so we could make comparisons to published data from Gamma Knife plans. Finally, we evaluated the dosimetric accuracy of our LUNAC based uh, volume staging by delivering our PTV VMAP plans to radiochromic film and a diamond detector placed at the junction between the two stages. We selected 10 patients with a range of AVM sizes and locations to create volume stage plans. The stages are shown in red and yellow, the brain stem in green, and optics in blue. AVM volumes range from 2.2 to 34.6 cc and we're all divided into approximately equal volume stages. For all plants, we use a single fraction of 20 grays for all stages. We allow the maximum dose to go as high as possible, just as gamma knife plants. We also created control structures to encourage a sharp dose fall off from the PTV margin and maximum doses in the middle of the stage. The structure at the junction was also used to minimize the dose in this region for the sound plants. Radiochromic film was used in two ways, to verify the treatment plan and dose, and to assess the positional errors that could arise from setting up a patient twice for the second stage. This was done by exposing one film to both stages after one cone beam setup, and another film was set up twice by removing the phantom from the couch and starting the setup process again for the second stage. We did film comparison and gamma analysis for film to film and for each film to treatment plan and dose. Moving on to some of our results, PTV VMAP plans show that on average, the V12 gray was increased by almost 50% with respect to the AVM plans. PTV maximum dose was also higher. Conformity for each target improved slightly as expected with the larger volume. The normal brain maximum dose was also increased. Please refer to our publication for further results. Some analysis was done with Film QA Pro. We use the 1 mm distance to agreement criteria, since that is our margin, and up to 5% for the TPS dose comparison. We also qualitatively evaluated the profiles, isomaps, and isodose patterns. Film to film gamma analysis are all above 90% for 2% 1 mm, and film to TPS dose above 90% for 5% and 1 mm. Film results show that setting up the phantom twice did not introduce additional errors. Point dose verification resulted in an average percent difference to TPS point dose at the ISO center of minus 0.6%, with a maximum percent difference of 3.98%. To conclude, we believe volume staging is feasible using VMI. Additional stages may need to be considered for AVM volumes of up 20 cc's, and it may need to be combined with fractionated SRS for best normal brain sparing. Ideally, minimizing the margin required could lead to improving both fractionated SRS and volume staging. But this may require technical advances in LINAC mechanical accuracy and a stringent quality control program. Thanks very much for watching, and you can find our JNCMP publication here.